What's up, world? Welcome to Woke Reality. I'm your boy Demetrius, or whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm gonna hop right into it, and I actually wrote some notes down too. So you may see me go back and forth. I'm trying to change some things to get better at my craft for y'all, and not just come off the top with just try to think of shit. You know, so I'm actually trying to help y'all out. All right, failure. Okay, failure is designed to teach you a lesson. Failure is designed to help you with growth. Failure helps you redirect your path, your journey. Um, failure is to reinvent yourself. Um, I failed a lot of my life, rather it's relationships, sports, job, feeling like I'm failing my kids in times in my younger days. Um, for example, um, I played football my whole life um, from eight years old to high school, college, semi-pro, a little bit of arena. Um, we had to think, okay, from an eight-year-old playing offense, think of that. I play offense damn near my whole life, running back receiver. I get from from eight years old, sorry, eight years old to high school, my junior year, I get converted to defense. So that flipped my mind upside down. I go from trying to score touchdowns, now I'm trying to tackle the people that score. It ain't right, you feel me? Um, so I had to redirect my path and I failed. Everybody know I wanted to make it to the league. Most of my friends want to go to the NFL. You know what I'm saying? So me changing from that, it I failed because I didn't excel as good as I wanted to. I, I went from wide receiver slash running back. Well, high school was uh, wide receiver. And then straight to defense, I had to readjust everything. And I failed. I didn't go to a good college after that. I didn't have nobody offering me nothing. You know, I could blame the coaches. You know, I could. And I used to. I ain't going to trick. I, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I used to blame the coach. I can't blame nobody but me. Maybe I didn't um, work hard enough at offense. Maybe they seen something different. And I don't know. But I can't blame nobody but me. And with failure, people like to point fingers. So-and-so did that. My ex did this to me. So I ain't got this. My ex took the kids away. I, you know, some at the end of the day, you got to take it for yourself. And that other person could be fucked up in the head. Excuse my language, but I just got to keep it real. People could fuck you over, but I think God designed, we have our own individual journey by God. You know what I'm saying? We got to take what we get and learn from it. You know what I'm saying? We can't blame other people or point others or get down. And sometimes also failure can like, Take years from your life. You could fail and dwell on that for years. But, you know, like I did. So, like I said, failure could, you know, set you back to the point. You you still talking about, like me, I'm still talking about high school. How could have been a different person? I can't let failure take away my life. You know, I ain't into religion, but, you know, it can be the devil or it can be the dark side of things. And it can be. But we have the power to redirect everything we want using our brains Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Law of attraction is real. You got to speak it into existence. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just now learning this stuff. I've been learning this, learning this stuff, but I'm just now getting to the point. I failed my last podcast. I gave up on everything. I gave up on music. I gave up on my podcast. I gave up on football. I'm always quitting stuff because I let failure get into my mind and take me out the game. And that's not me. Everybody know me. Like, everybody know I'm a go-getter. But when I shut down, people notice it. People are like, oh, you ain't doing this no more. Hey, what's up with this? And I don't know what to say. I just be like, oh, I'm just, I ain't in the mood. Yeah, because I failed and I don't want to look at failure in the mirror and deal with it. So now I'm at the point, I ain't quitting nothing no more. Nothing. I'm tired of quitting my whole life. That shit is for the birds. When you quit, I don't got nothing to show for nothing. Oh, I got a couple pictures, a couple videos. I could have been way more in life if I didn't let failure you know, get in my mind and take over my whole aura. Take my energy over. Failure can be a vampire too. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be here to help y'all. For y'all won't have to deal with what I went through. I'm here to help my kids. I'm here to help the youth. I'm here to help all y'all. Because failure can tear you down, man. If you don't know how to get back up. I didn't really have nobody to like push me to get back up. Of course, my mom. My mom is nurturing. So if I fail, she's here to hold me, nurse me. It's okay, baby. Baby. You know what I'm saying? My dad, you know, and my mom, they split up and did their thing. But I didn't really have that person like I am for my son. He quit. I push him to get better. I don't let him stay down. I let him say he lose a game. I let him stay down for a little bit. But then I try to tell him what he did wrong. We're going to work on that. I wish I had that. And now I'm happy that I can be this for y'all. Because a lot of people ain't got that. 
You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't got that in their households. You know, when you fail, a lot of people ain't got nobody actually like, nope, we get up. We're about to go to the gym. Nope, get up. Let's write this song. Nope, let's get up. Let's do a different podcast. Just because you fail, don't mean you stay down. It's okay to fail. Boy or girl, it's okay to fail. That's how we relearn everything. Now we know what to do. You know what I'm saying? When you And then, like, you, okay, you failed then years down the road when you actually get aboard and redirect your future, reinvent yourself. You're going to look at yourself and be like, damn, I can't believe I gave up for five years on football or podcasts or music. I can't believe I gave up. Shout out to J-Dub. He back. He reinvented himself to come back stronger. That's He, he from my city. He do music. He came back 10 times harder. Once he got focused, he came back 10 times harder. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to come 10 times harder. You got to believe in yourself. It's not sounding cocky or nothing. You have to know that power within you that you can do anything you want to do because this is your world. This is your life. Don't ever forget that. This is your world. This is your life. I tell my kids that all the time. Sorry if I'm getting a little intense, but like failure has hunted me forever. I never knew how to maneuver. So I may seem a little rowdy right now because I don't want you to fail. I don't want to see none of my friends fail. I don't want to see none of their kids fail. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm here for you guys and I'm going to do anything in my power to be here for y'all. That's my job. That's why I'm here on earth. Yes, you know, I used to do, like I said, rap and do all that and wanted the little bit of fan, wanted to be famous. This is why I'm here on earth. I'm the type of guy, I'm a Libra too. I balance everybody, you dig Libra gang. But I'm the type of guy where I can be in a random gas station and somebody would come up to me and just start talking. And, you know, you know you'd be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hit him with it, yeah, 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 yeah. Then when you sit and listen, they actually hurting, hurting. And you giving that three minutes just to like, even if you don't talk about it, just listen. Sit back and give them your whole attention. Nod your head, smile. That makes a difference for people, you know what I'm saying? I'm for real. You may think I'm just talking that talk, but I'm dead serious, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, and I appreciate you guys for watching the last episode too. Okay, failure also is a character test, like I've been saying the whole time. It will test you. Failure will test your gangster. Real talk, it will test you. Are you going to be the one that fall down like I did? Or are you going to get back up that next day? Every day is a new day to start fresh. Every day is a, a different breath. The next minute is a, you can get an argument two minutes before, two minutes prior, but that next breath is another breath to start fresh. You dig? So when you fail, what type of character are you? How long do you stay down? How fast do you get back up? It's all a test, y'all. Like I say, I ain't gonna hold these podcasts too long, but it's all a test. It's all a test, man. And appreciate life. Appreciate the things around you. You know, when you fail, just just find some type of a way, it, whether it's a walk, a drive, listening to music, find a way to smile. Take 20 seconds to meditate. Try to at least take a minute to meditate. Deep breaths. Close your eyes. And try to block everything out. That helps. Quieting your mind, I swear, for one minute helps. Then try to do two. Then try to get five. Then try to set alarm for 10 minutes. I got me and my daughter doing that right now. My son ain't really into that. But I swear it makes you feel like a whole different person. So next thing you fail, take two minutes to yourself. Take deep breaths and think about what makes you happy. It helps. I promise you. I won't lead you wrong. But uh, I appreciate you, dog. Yeah, I can't talk. I appreciate you all. This is new to me, so I may be nervous. I may stumble over my words. But this is all new to me. And um, it's kind of... I was thinking it was embarrassing because nobody in my city or around me never see me talk like this unless you're really close to me. So when I post this on Instagram, I feel like people are like, well, he, oh, he, oh, he on a spiritual kick. Yeah, I am. Cause I want to help you. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with helping somebody, man? So a lot of people, I may lose some friends, but this is what I got to do because I'm not leaving with earth, this earth with the platforms that I got, not bragging with the 33,000 people on TikTok, with the 400 and something subscribers, with the people on my Instagram, on my Snapchat. I'm not going to fail y'all. Rather, it's just five of y'all. I'm not going to fail you. I'm going to do my part in life to make sure we get it together, together, get it together, together. You feel me? I'm here for y'all. I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for tapping in to Woke Reality. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the TikTok. All that. All that's going to be in the description. Description. You feel me? Like I'm a little nervous. <laughs> we fall down, but we get up. Listen to that song, too. It's a good song. Anyways, let me get back on topic. Yeah. Love y'all. Let's get it. Yeah. Woke Reality. Yeah.